In this video tutorial, we will see how to use the view binding library in an Android Kotlin project. I have a very simple project here. Uh, we have three views, a button, a text input, and a text view. So if I run this project and um, if I give it a text, for example, coding right, and then if I click here, I will be able to see the text message on my uh, text view uh, widget or component. So what we're going to do is to um, go to the main activity file. And as you can see, we have a lot of uh, boiler play codes. So we are trying to avoid um, using the find view by ID function here by generating a binding object for our um, views in the activity main um, file. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our, our build gradle file and add this line which is build features and uh, set the view binding uh, to true that has to be within the android block once we have that uh, we need to sync it and then we will come back to our main activity and let's remove all this code including this and um, this one as well and then first thing that we're going to do is inflate our layout. We will say val view binding and create a, a variable called view binding. And then I'm going to call the activity main binding class that is generated when we set up our build features to true, the view binding uh, feature to true. So we will say activity main binding dot inflate and we will call layout inflator. Then we set the content to the binding view binding dot root. Once we have that, we can be able to access our views using the view binding uh, uh, variable or field, as you can see here. So I'm going to do view binding dot, for example, I want to access the button view. So first I need to go to my activity main code and look for the name of the button the id which is id send button so we will come here and do id send button and then we will set a click listener on it then we will bind the value that is coming from the text the edit text to the text view so the name of my edit text is um, id edit text input and this one is id text view display so as you can see, you're not getting the exact ID name. The underscore value is stripped out of the um, the ID name once it is um, compiled or the binding object is generated. So we'll come up here and do view binding dot, let's say ID text dot text value will be set to uh, view binding dot ID text display no edit text input dot text dot to string and um, now we can compile it and run it so we don't have any error so now if I type something here let's say view binding and uh, click on it we can get the same result so by using view binding we can eliminate the find view by ID function and um, we can write less code